Hi people, in this video you are going to learn to print properly in AutoCAD. I know that a lot of people struggle with this topic, as it's a bit complex, but I will explain the most important tips to make it as simple as possible. First of all, look at the tabs located here. The first one that says Model is where we can make all the project. This workspace seems to have an infinite area, so we can make the drawings that we want. But of course, the larger the file, the slower the computer gets. The tabs that say Layout are used for printing. I'm going to Layout 1. Here, there is a paper with a specific size. And these drawings is what we, it would be printed. To print properly, we should specify the paper size that we need. I am going to click here with the right button and then click on Page Setup Manager. In this window I choose Layout 1 and click on Modify. So here you have the page setup. First, we should choose the printer by clicking on this tab. If we want to save a page in PDF, there are several options here reg regarding the file size and print quality. I usually use this one, DWG to PDF. To change the paper size, I have to click on this tab. For this case, I want A4, this one. On drawing orientation, I choose between landscape and portrait. Finally, click OK and close to save changes. Now that we have the paper size, we have to decide what we want to print on there. On the layout tabs, there are two spaces, paper and model space. We can switch between them here. Currently, we are in the paper space. If I apply zoom or move, it works for the paper. Notice this rectangle here where I have the drawings. It's a viewport and it's like an access to the project. I am going to double click inside and it switches to the model space. Now if I zoom, the paper doesn't move, just the objects that I drew. As well, if I draw a line here, it will appear exactly in the same place in the model tab. Change the size of the viewport. I'm going to click on model to switch to the paper space again. At this moment, I can select the viewport, then with the grips, I can modify it to cover the entire paper. Double click to go to the model space. Now, I can zoom in the drawing or put a specific scale for the paper. It's here. I specify, for example, 1 per 100. When I finish, I am able to print the drawing. Click here with the right button and this time I click on Plot. Continue to plot a single sheet. Here I can click on OK to print or in this case to export the file as a PDF. Some printing tips. Hide the viewport. When I plot the file, the viewport appears by default on the paper. If you want to hide it, follow the next steps. Go to the Layer Properties Manager and create a new layer just for the viewport. Switch to the paper mode. Click on the viewport and move it to its own layer. Then, go again to the Layer Properties and freeze the layer. You can see that it's not appearing anymore. So, if you save as a PDF or print a file right now, the viewport is not visible. 
have different colors on the viewport. The default AutoCAD workspace uses a dark background, with a reason to be better for the eyes when working for several hours. Because of that, it's common to use light colors in our project. The problem is when we switch to the layout mode, the colors can be too light for a white paper. For example, the doors are a bit hard to see. Don't worry, it's possible to set up different colors for printing. First, you have to double click on the viewport to switch to the mode space. Go to the layer properties and you can see this column with the label VP color. If in your version is not located next to the color tab, look at the right end of this table. Then I'm going to change the color for the layer doors. Click here and put this one, for example. Now it's much better. So, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe to Cat in Black to receive notifications of new updates. Still, if you need online private lessons, send me an email to the address that is showing there. See you next time!